Yeah, I was kind of freaked out. You know, we, we already done had one murder in town just this year. Breaking news tonight on ABC 17 News at 5. In the last hour, authorities have cleared a home in Sedalia where a double murder suspect was believed to be hiding. A woman and her 17-year-old son were found dead in a Clinton home this morning. The suspect, James Horn Jr., is still at large tonight. Horn has been on the run since April when the woman who was killed this morning escaped from his home, saying he had kept her in a wooden box for four months. We have team coverage tonight out of Sedalia and Clinton, and we're going to be starting with ABC 17's Heather Horrigan, who has been in Sedalia all day. And Heather, what does the scene look like there now? Daniel, the scene has been cleared. James Horn Jr. was not inside his home here on 15th Street in Sedalia. And let me tell you, it's been a long day for law enforcement. The SWAT team was out here for seven hours in their armored vehicle, actually parked right here where I'm standing. Around 2 this afternoon, they actually brought in the bomb squad. They brought in those robots. The robots searched the three homes here on this street. The other two, uh, including James, were searched because they are now empty. And they searched those. The robots were used to see if there was anyone inside the home and kind of the layout of the land. Then the SWAT team went in. All three of those homes have been cleared. Now, what led police here this morning in the first place was the fact that Sutton's car was found here at the local hospital, just two blocks from where I'm standing right now. And um, we were here May 1st when uh, Sutton escaped. You may remember she was kept in a box for four months. So from January until April of this year, we were here in May. That was the day she escaped. But all also, the day Horn was able to get away from authorities, and he is still at large tonight. Law enforcement does not know where he may be. I did talk with the police chief of Sedalia, who says they did get search warrants to look inside Horn's family member's home here in Sedalia, and there were no traces of him here. Reporting live in Sedalia, Heather Horgan, ABC 17 News. Thank you, Heather. About 30 minutes ago, authorities wrapped up a press conference in Clinton where the victims were killed. ABC 17's Ashley Strohmeyer has been in Clinton since this morning and joins us live now outside the home where the mother and son were found. Ashley Horn is the only suspect in this case. Dana, that's exactly what authorities have been telling me all day, and I am on Franklin Street in Clinton in front of the home where Sandra Sutton and her 17-year-old son were found dead about 4.15 this morning. And not only that, but authorities say Sutton did not ask for any type of protective order, which is a question everyone has been wanting the answer to all day. Why didn't the police protect her? Why was she not in protective custody? The fact is, is that we didn't know she was living in our community. And as far as I can tell from checking, she has never even sought a, an order of protection uh, against uh, James Horn. Now that question has still not been fully answered as you just heard from Detective Lynch, but neighbors tell me they heard that Sutton was going to file a protective order or something along those lines before all of this happened. Neighbors also say they were up at the time of the shooting but did not hear anything but dogs barking. Police confirmed to me less than an hour ago that Sutton's car, the vehicle they believe Horn drove to Sedalia after the murder was seen in surveillance videos at Bothwell Hospital and a man who they think is Horn was seen getting out and headed in the direction of his home in Marvin, which is where Heather Horgan has been all day. The two bodies have been taken to the Jackson County Coroner, and authorities say they will know more about the time of death and the actual cause of death tomorrow. We'll bring you those details as they come in. Live in Clinton, Ashley Strohmeyer, ABC 17 News. Thank you very much, Ashley. We'll continue to bring you the very latest on this case as it develops tonight. You can catch updates here on ABC 17 as well as our Facebook, Twitter, and website, ABC 17.